Welcome you all to the video lecture on signals and system. Today we are going to find out the Laplace transform for the given x of t and also plot its ROC. So the Laplace transform formula is Laplace of x of t is given by minus infinity to infinity x of t e power minus st dt. So this is the Laplace transform formula. So here the given x of t is e power minus phi t and u of t minus 1. So they have given it is u of t minus 1. So first of all we need to find out the limits for the given signal and then we need to proceed. So whenever if it is step signal that is u of t what is the definition of step signal u of t is 1 for t greater than or equal to 0 and it is 0 for t less than 0. So this is the step signal. So where it exists from 0 to infinity. So since they given u of t minus 1 first of all we need to know the definition of unit step signal which is nothing but this and again they have given u of t minus 1. So the signal step signal has been shifted by one time. So it is time shifting operation. So if it is time shifting operation we need to either delay the signal or advance the signal. So for that first we need to equate t minus 1 is equal to 0 and which is nothing but t is equal to 1. So add t is equal to 1 with each and every instance of t. So anyway t value ranges from 0 to infinity. So 0 plus 1 is nothing but 1. Infinity plus 1 is nothing but infinity. So this signal u of t which is ranging from 0 to infinity has been shifted now to 1 to infinity. So the signal now it becomes like this. So only the time changes amplitude remains same. So here for 0 to infinity the value is 1. Now it has been shifted from 1 to infinity but the amplitude again it is 1. So this signal is nothing but u of t minus 1. So the general signal we assume that it exists from minus infinity to infinity but here since they have given u of t minus 1, u of t minus 1 ranges only from 1 to infinity. So now we need to change this integration as 1 to infinity because this signal exists at 1 to infinity. So anyway x of t is multiplication of exponential signal and step signal. So if one signal exists from 1 to infinity, when you multiply with another signal which exists for all the range anyway the output also exists only from 1 to infinity. So only we are changing the range from minus infinity to infinity as 1 to infinity since it is multiplication operation both the signal after the multiplication will exist only for the range 1 to infinity. So again e power minus phi t remains same and what is the value of u of t minus 1? u of t minus 1 the amplitude is 1. So this value becomes 1 and it exists from 1 to infinity that is all. And then so for x of t we have substituted as e power minus phi t into 1. So now easily we can write that this equation as e power minus phi t into 1 but this exists only for 1 to infinity. So that value only we have given here. So x of t is over and in the formula itself we have e power minus st. So which is again in the multiplication. Okay. Now we need to multiply these two terms before applying the integration. So e power minus phi t into e power minus st. So e power minus t is common. Here it is phi. Here it is s. Second term we have s. First term we have phi. 1 to infinity. Integration of 1 to infinity remains same. So now 
we can apply the integration formula. So, e power minus t s plus 5 divided by what is t's coefficient minus s plus 5. Okay, so 5 plus s we can write as s plus 5 or 5 plus s also. And what are all the limits? Limits it is from 1 to infinity. So, we are applying the integration formula. What is the integration of e power a t? e power a t by a. What is integration of e power minus a t? e power minus a t by minus a. So, using that formula, the integration of this is nothing but integration uh, this term will come in the numerator divide by t's coefficient. What are all the t's coefficient? Minus into s plus 5. And this value exists from 1 to infinity. Now, we need to apply upper limit and lower limit. So, in both the terms anyway this term is constant either you can take outside or you can apply directly also. So, first let us apply the upper limit. Wherever you have t you have to replace it by infinity. So, e power minus infinity into s plus 5 divided by this term minus of s plus 5. And then again while applying the lower limit we need to introduce one more minus term. So, minus into minus will become plus and then wherever we have t replace it by 1. So, e power minus 1 you can leave that. So, s plus 5 1 into any term is that particular term. So, s plus 5 divided by s plus 5. So, why we are getting plus here? Because while applying the lower limit, we need to introduce one more minus. So, minus into minus will become plus. Wherever you have t, just replace it by 1. So, anyway, we know that e power minus infinity is 0. So, e power minus infinity is 0. Anyway, infinity into any value is nothing but infinity. So, this whole term becomes 0. So, only we will get this term. So, I can easily write. So, whatever we have Laplace transform of x of t, we can write that as x of s. Okay. So, x of s here it is nothing but e power minus s plus 5 divided by s plus 5. So, this is my final answer. So, the Laplace transform of given x of t is nothing but e power minus of s plus 5 divided by s plus 5. So, now we have determined the Laplace transformation. So, the next step we need to find out the ROC. We need to plot the ROC. ROC is nothing but region of convergence. So, how to find out the region of convergence? So, for the region of con convergence, we have condition in Laplace transform. So, the ROC region of con uh, convergence is nothing but the value of sigma or the value of s for which the Laplace transform converges. So, that is nothing but ROC condition which is given by minus infinity to infinity modulus of x of t e power minus sigma t dt lesser than infinity. So, either we can use sigma here or s here. Okay. So, for the problems we can use sigma itself. Okay. Why? Because s is equal to sigma plus j omega. Since it is modulus we can take only the sigma part. So, the ROC condition is nothing but either we can take the value of s the value of s or the value of sigma for which the Laplace transform get converges. It is nothing but ROC region of convergence. So, how we have to plot the ROC? So, we need to substitute x of t value here and see for which value the sigma converges. So, what is x of t? x of t is nothing but e power minus phi t right e power minus phi t into 1. So, e power minus phi t. Okay. 
and that value exists for only for what 1 to infinity right so you can change minus infinity to infinity as 1 to infinity as what we have done previously so x of t is nothing but e power minus y t and this term we have tried as it is e power minus sigma t okay and then dt this value should be lesser than infinity so when this value will become lesser than infinity that value only we need to find out so 1 to infinity e power again let me take minus t outside so it becomes 5 plus sigma okay it should be lesser than infinity so we need to find out the value of sigma for which this whole integration becomes lesser than infinity okay so again whenever we have infinity substituted here okay what happens e power minus infinity it becomes zero so the whole terms becomes uh, zero okay so it is lesser than infinity no problem but whenever we substitute minus infinity what happens okay e power minus into minus infinity it becomes e power infinity it becomes infinity so the value will not get converged okay so we need to find out the condition where this term will get converged okay so easily i can say that i have this term e power minus t 5 plus sigma okay so wherever I have t there only I need to substitute infinity. So e power minus infinity becomes 0. So, so it is correct. No issues. Okay. The value will not become infinity. So in order to make e power minus infinity as it is as e power minus infinity. Okay. This value whatever you have it should be a positive value. Only then I will get minus into positive value as e power minus infinity correct suppose here e power minus infinity if this value gives some negative value what happens minus infinity into my negative value it becomes e power infinity it becomes totally infinity so you should not take this condition okay so in order to make this integration to get converge to get converge what you should do we need to always consider this value as positive value okay so what does thus that infer so always your phi plus sigma it should be greater than zero positive value means it should be greater than zero so this is the condition what i received from this term okay so in order to get this integration should be lesser than infinity i need to consider phi plus sigma as positive value that is it should be greater than zero so what is the condition for sigma then sigma is should be greater than minus phi okay so for the region of convergence always you should take sigma value greater than minus 5 so this is the roc condition okay and how we can plot the roc just take your poles so what what are all the poles available here we determined that x of s is equal to e power minus s plus 5 divided by s plus 5 so from this term we need to find out what are all the poles available so already we have determined that x of s is equal to e power minus 5 plus s or s plus 5 whatever it may be okay can take okay so what 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 do you mean by poles you have to equate the denominator to 0 okay so equate the denominator to 0 phi plus s is equal to 0 so s is equal to minus 5 so in order to determine where the poles are available equate your denominator to 0 so s plus 5 equal to 0 s equal to minus 5 so the pole exists at minus 5 
if it is plus 5 you have to take in the right hand side since it is minus I am just taking some value in the negative side as this ok. So just put a cross mark for the poles. So this is the pole and what do you mean by ROC? ROC condition will exist only for sigma greater than minus 5. So the ROC plot is done by using the S value. S is nothing but sigma plus j omega. So this is your real part. This is your imaginary part. So real part you take in the x axis sigma. Imaginary part you take in the y axis. Okay, j omega. So sigma plus j omega. So your ROC plot will have x axis as sigma, y axis as j omega. And they have given that sigma greater than minus 5. So just draw the vertical line at minus 5 and whatever the region greater than minus 5 this is nothing but ROC region of convergence area for this problem ok. So you have to plot like this. So the area the region after sigma greater than minus 5 is nothing but region of convergence for this problem ok. Thank you. Thanks for watching.